Border security could soon be part of state law under Proposition 314. It is passing by a nearly two to one margin. The measure placed on the ballots by the legislature allows for state and local police to make immigration arrests and state judges to order deportations. The bill also makes the sale of fentanyl, resulting in a death, a class two felony. But even some of those who will enforce it recognize it's a burden, one that opponents say will cause more trouble than expected. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live in the studio with both sides concerns about this, J.D. And Brooke, uh, the, excuse me, the, um, the concern for the, uh, the sheriff uh, is that uh, there is no funding for this proposition and it would be an unfunded mandate. However, opponents are saying that this also brings the state into an area that is a federal concern. On some level, I think uh, the result is explained by, you know, voters just wanting to have uh, the state of Arizona do something. Um, our position, uh, you know, we're against Proposition 314. Noah Schramm, border policy strategist with ACLU of Arizona, raises the concerns of making crossing the border anywhere other than a lawful port of entry a state crime, misdemeanor the first time, felony after that, and the responsibility of state and local law enforcement, its jails and the courts. The uh, actual components of Proposition 314 uh, we think we'll end up doing a lot more harm than good and have a lot of, if not unintended, sort of unanticipated uh, effects. Uh, for instance, racial profiling, family separation. We're stepping into the federal government's game of immigration, some we should never be in. I'll be the first to say this. this but Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels will enforce it if it passes. The border crossing enforcement part won't go into effect until a similar law in Texas clears the courts, and Daniels expects President Trump could take action and ease the pressure of a proposition with no funding. My first thing I'm going to do is when uh, President Trump takes office is to readdress that with his Department of Homeland Security team and say, where are you guys at that? If not sooner, the opportunity comes, I will address it sooner on behalf of our American sheriffs because they need to step back in this game and get and fix it. They broke it. They need to fix it. Daniel says he's also spoken to the governor's office about what funding the state will provide and expects the legislature to support it. The act also prohibits those here from using false identification for public benefits and applying for work. Selling illegal fentanyl that kills someone is also in this proposition. Live in the studio, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.